Gametogenesis is the production of gametes, or sex cells. Gametes include sperm cells produced by the male and secondary oocytes produced by the female. In order to understand how gametes are formed, it is important to understand the cell cycle and the two cell division processes required. Mitotic cell division and meiotic cell division. The cell cycle is an orderly sequence of events by which a somatic cell duplicates its contents and divides in two. The cell cycle is composed of two primary parts, interphase and mitotic phase. Interphase is a state of high metabolic activity in which the cell does most of its growing. Interphase consists of three phases, G1, S, and G2. During the G1 phase of interphase, the cell is metabolically active. It is during this phase that the cell duplicates most of its organelles and systolic components, but not its DNA. Centrosomes, structures that build mitotic spindles, are replicated during the S phase. More importantly, the S phase is when DNA is replicated, doubling the original number of 46. As a result, the two daughter cells formed during mitotic cell division will be made up of identical genetic material. When DNA replicates during the S phase of interphase, the double helix partially uncoils and the two strands disconnect at the points where hydrogen bonds connect base pairs. Each exposed base of the old DNA strand then pairs with the complementary base of a free nucleotide. A new DNA molecule develops as chemical bonds form between neighboring nucleotides. The uncoiling and complementary base pairing will continue until both original DNA strands are joined with newly formed complementary DNA strands. As a result, the original DNA molecule has become two identical DNA molecules. Throughout the G2 phase of interphase, cell growth continues, and enzymes and other proteins are synthesized. The mitotic phase of the cell cycle involves mitotic cell division, which is the production of two genetically identical cells from one parent cell. Mitotic cell division is the basis of tissue growth and regeneration, and the proliferation of stem cells that will later give rise to gametes. Mitotic cell division consists of two processes. Mitosis, which is nuclear division, and cytokinesis, which is cytoplasmic division. Mitosis involves the distribution of two sets of DNA molecules into separate nuclei and consists of four stages. During prophase, chromatin fibers condense into paired chromatids. The nucleolus and nuclear envelope vanish. Each centrosome moves to an opposite pole of the cell, and the mitotic spindle appears. During metaphase, centromeres of chromatid pairs line up on the equatorial plane. During anaphase, centromeres split. Sister chromatids separate and identical chromosomes move to opposite poles of the cell. Cytokinesis, which begins toward the end of anaphase and the beginning of telophase, consists of a contractile ring forming a cleavage furrow around the center of the cell. This contractile ring constricts, dividing cytoplasm into separate and equal portions. The fourth and last stage is telophase. During telophase, the nucleolus and nuclear envelope reappear. 
chromosomes resume chromatin form, and the mitotic spindle disappears. The contractile ring of cytokinesis continues to constrict the center of the cell until it pinches the cell in two. Biotic or reproductive cell division is the means by which diploid stem cells give rise to haploid gametes. Diploid cells, such as human somatic cells, have two sets of chromosomes, one set from the father and one set from the mother. Haploid cells, such as human gametes, have one set of chromosomes, with N representing the number of different chromosomes in the set. Like mitotic cell division, meiotic cell division consists of two processes, meiosis, which is nuclear division, and cytokinesis, which is cytoplasmic division. However, it differs from mitotic cell division in two important ways. First, it consists of two divisions, thereby producing four cells. And second, the daughter cells are haploid, and genetically unlike each other. Meiotic cell division involves two consecutive divisions, meiosis I and meiosis II, with no interphase in between. Meiosis I consists of four stages. Prophase I of the first meiotic division involves the same mechanical events as in prophase of mitosis, with two notable additions. First, synapsis occurs. This is when sister chromatids of each pair of homologous chromosomes pair off. Second, crossing over occurs. This is when parts of chromatids of two homologous chromosomes may be exchanged with one another. Due to crossing over, the resulting daughter cells are genetically unlike each other and genetically unlike the parent cell. In metaphase 1, paired homologous chromosomes line up along the equatorial plane with homologous chromosomes side by side. This does not occur during metaphase of mitosis. During anaphase 1, homologous chromosomes of each tetrad separate as they are pulled to opposite poles of the cell. The mechanical events of telophase 1 and cytokinesis are similar to those of telophase and cytokinesis of mitotic cell division. The net result of the first meiotic division is two daughter cells, each of which contains only the haploid number of chromosomes. Only one member of each pair of homologous chromosomes present in the parent cell is present in each daughter cell. However, each chromosome consists of two chromatids, and therefore, two DNA molecules. The second meiotic division, called meiosis II, also consists of four stages. But unlike the first meiotic division, it is not preceded by DNA replication. In fact, meiosis II usually begins before the chromosomes of meiosis I have fully decondensed. Prophase II involves mechanical events similar to those in prophase of mitosis. In metaphase II, sister chromatids line up on the equatorial plane. During anaphase II, centromeres of sister chromatids split and sister chromatids separate and move to opposite poles of the cell. In telophase II and cytokinesis, the mechanical events are similar to those of telophase and cytokinesis 
of mitotic cell division. The net result of the second meiotic division is four haploid daughter cells, each of which contains only one set of DNA molecules. The daughter cells are genetically different from each other and different from the original diploid parent cell. 